Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this super easy squared basket. You can make it smaller, you can make it bigger. It's really, really easy to adjust and it works up really, really fast. It's just a one round repeat and it's super, super easy to crochet. And now I will show you what we need and how to crochet this easy basket. Today I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook. You will also need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle. And today I'm using this Yarn Art Macrame Cotton Spectrum. It's really, really thick and it's perfect for macrame or for crocheting baskets, bags, whatever you would like. And I really, really love those colors. Like you can see, they have them in so many beautiful colors. Of course, you could use any yarn you would like and the recommended hook size. And now let's get started. We will start with a slip knot. And for my basket, I'm going to crochet 17 chains. So grab the yarn and pull through. Grab the yarn and pull through. If you want your basket wider, all you have to do is just keep crocheting chains. It doesn't matter. It ha doesn't have to be a multiple of two or anything. Just keep crocheting chains until you have the width you need for your basket. And like I said, in my case, I'm going to crochet 17 chains. So just keep doing that and I will see you back in just a moment. So I just finished my 17 chains and now let's get started with the first row. We will need the second stitch from the hook so the first one here does not count. Here is the second one. So one and two. So you will insert your hook into the second stitch, grab the yarn, pull up. You have two loops on your hook, grab the yarn and pull through two. Go into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull up and work a single crochet. This is all you have to do just one single crochet in every stitch. Since I started with 17 chains, we will have a total of 16 single crochets. So if you started with 20, you will have 19 single crochets and so on. So it's super, super easy. Just one single crochet in every stitch. And I will see you back at the end of this row. So this is what it looks like. Now let's get started with the next row. You will always chain one, turn your work around. And again, we will work one single crochet in every stitch. So you will insert into the very first stitch, grab the yarn, pull up and a single crochet. And also in this row and all the other rows, you will always have the same amount of single crochets. So in my case, it's going to be 16 single crochets. So just one single crochet in every stitch. I'm here at the end of my row and again you will chain one and turn your work around and again one single crochet in every stitch. To get the perfect square I crocheted 17 chains and I always have a total of 16 single crochets so I will crochet 16 rows. So we just finished two rows and now all you have to do is keep repeating until you have 16 rows of single crochets. If you for example have 19 single crochets in every row, you will crochet 19 rows just to be able to get the perfect square for this basket. 
So again, just one single crochet in every stitch. At the end of the row, you will chain one, turn your row, turn your work and repeat. So I will keep crocheting single crochets until I have 16 rows in total. And I will see you back in just a little bit. So I just finished my 16 rows of single crochet and now you can see we have the perfect square if you for example crocheted 19 or 25 you just crochet the same amount of rows to get the perfect square so here was my last single crochet and now we will crochet all the way around to start building up the basket. So here was my last single crochet. What I'm going to do is insert my hook into same stitch and work another single crochet. Because in every corner we will crochet two single crochets in the same space. And now you can see here are the little spaces in between and we are going to crochet one single crochet in each space like you can see right here I'm going to insert and just one single crochet in every space and this is what it looks like you can see it's all nice and even so just one single crochet in every stitch and here in a second we will get to the corner and in the corner you will crochet two single crochets into the same stitch okay so here's my last one you will insert work one single crochet go into the same stitch again grab the yarn and work another single crochets so you have two single crochets in this corner and now i'm just going to insert again into the next stitch and now one single crochet and you will repeat this all the way around just one single crochet in every stitch and in the corners you will crochet two single crochets in one stitch. So again, I'm here in the next corner. Here is the yarn we started with. I'm just going to fold it to the back. And here you will also crochet two single crochets in one stitch. And this is how you get around. So I crocheted this all the way around and now into the very last stitch here in the corner I'm going to crochet one more single crochet and now we will slip stitch into the very first stitch. For the next row we will be working in the back loops only. So all you have to do is chain one and now here into the very first single crochet, you will insert your hook into the back loop, grab your yarn and one single crochet. Again, into the back loop only, insert and one single crochet. And you will repeat this all the way around. So just one single crochet in the back loop only all the way around you don't have to crochet any increases anymore in the corners just one single crochet in the back loop only until you get back to this very first single crochet so just like this keep crocheting all the way around
So I crochet this all the way around in the back loop only. And now we will keep crocheting in spiral rounds. So we are not going to end up with a slip stitch. Now we are just going to insert as usual into both loops. No more in the back loops only. So just like this, grab the yarn and one single crochet. And now it's super, super easy. This was the hardest part. And now all we have to do is keep crocheting single crochets in every stitch until you get the height you need for your basket. And like I said, we just keep crocheting one single crochet until our basket is high enough. So you don't have to see where your row starts. Just keep crocheting one single crochet in every stitch. And I will do that and I will show you in just a moment how my basket looks like. So now just relax and keep crocheting. One single crochet in every stitch. So I crocheted in rounds and this is what it looks like. Now it actually looks like a basket and it's so, so pretty and it works up so fast. I also love those colors here. They change automatically. I didn't have to do anything. That's what I love about yarn like this. And uh, I crocheted a total of 14 rounds this is totally up to you it's also super easy to count you can see the rounds really really easy and this is the height i want for my basket but like i said if you want to make it higher just keep crocheting in rounds now you can see the square here and it's so much fun to crochet and uh, I stopped right here because I'm going to attach handles this is optional you don't have to you can just keep crocheting in um, single crochets but I think it looks so much prettier if you do so I'm here at my corner and um, yeah you just have to see where you would like your handles to be I have here one two three for five stitches I'm going to grab my hook and for my handle I'm going to crochet 10 chains so two one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and I'm going to skip five stitches so skip uh, one stitch two three four five and into the sixth one I'm going to insert my hook grab the yarn pull up and work a single crochet and this is how the handle looks like of course we will crochet one more round around it and now I will keep crocheting um, all the way around until I get to the other side and I will do the same thing. I will again skip five, uh, crochet five single crochets, chain 10, skip five stitches and into the sixth stitch I will work a single crochet. And this is how I'm going to crochet the second handle. So let's do this and I will see you back in just a moment. So now I will show you how to crochet the handle on the other side. So I single crochet all the way around and roughly on the opposite side. Um, yeah, we're going to make the other handle. So again, I'm going to crochet 10 chains just like I did on the other side. I will skip five stitches, so one, one, two, three, four, and five into the sixth one. I'm going to insert my hook and work a single crochet. 
and we finished our second handle and now i'm going to crochet one single crochet all the way around until i get to the handles and i will show you how this works so i crocheted one single crochet all the way until i got to the handle and now it's also super easy i'm going to insert my hook into the first chain so just like this and just one single crochet go into the next chain and also one single crochet and this is how i'm going to crochet the handle so just in every stitch one single crochet if this is too hard for you you could also crochet around the chain this is totally up to you but i'm going to crochet one single crochet in every stitch I also crocheted around the second handle just like I did on the first one and what I would like to do now is just crochet one more round of slip stitches. This is optional, you could also crochet one more round of single crochets, this is totally up to you. But I'm going to insert my hook into the very next stitch right here and now I will work a slip stitch. So grab the yarn and pull through. Go into the next stitch and work a slip stitch. And this is all I'm going to do all the way around and this will give it a nice edge like you can see right here. So just one slip stitch in every stitch all the way around. So I slip stitch all the way around and now I'm back into the very first slip stitch. I'm going to insert my hook again, work a slip stitch. Now I will chain one, pull tight and now we can cut the yarn. So snip it, grab your hook, pull it all the way through and tight and now all we have to do is just sew in those yarn ends so just grab your darning needle and let's sew in the yarn ends so I will flip it inside out it makes it easier and now let's sew in the yarn end right here so just grab the darning needle pull the yarn through It's a little bit harder to do since it's a macrame yarn but if you use normal yarn it's not going to be so hard so i'm just going to pull the darning needle through some stitches pull through now i will turn my work around and go through some stitches the opposite side all the way through and I will turn my work one more time and again go through some stitches now you can see it's a little bit harder to go through and pull through but just take your time okay now let's pull tight now we can grab our scissors cut the yarn <clears throat> excuse me and we will do exactly the same thing with the other one and we are done i really really hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you so so much for watching i hope you're gonna have a great time crocheting this super cute and easy basket thank you so so much for watching have a great time crocheting and i hope to see you back soon bye